हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज सनी सविता एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट मल्टी मॉडल रैक सिस्टम यस गाइस सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड मेनी वीडियो ऑन टॉप ऑफ दिस रैक सो हियर इफ यू विल गो एंड चेक विद माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो यू विल फाइंड आउट वन कम्प्लीट प्ले ऑन टॉप ऑफ दिस रैक सो देर इन साइड दिस प्ले लिस्ट आई डिस्कस सो मेनी थिंग्स सो मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट रिगार्डिंग द रैक and i try to cover this rag retriever argument generation by using multiple framework so if you haven't checked guys please go and check with this particular playlist it will solve your many doubt regarding this rag now in order to that i am going to create one more video with respect to this rag and it's not going to be a single video uh, so here there will be a multiple video regarding this uh, multi multi model rag system so i am thinking around 4 to 5 video there i will be discussing different different practical now in this video we'll discuss the complete and detailed introduction of this multi model rag now here this uh, uh, discussion i have divided into multiple points what is a rag rag architecture component of the rag architecture then from the fourth point itself my main thing is going to be start so from here multi model rag uh, what is a multi model rag multi model embedding and multi model generation so this is the heart or core part of this multi model guys multi model rack system so please don't miss out this fifth point because it's going to be very important then different different approaches to solve this multi model rack and then use cases of this multi model rack right what kind of use case we can solve and in which what kind of use cases actually you will be required this particular concept then framework for building this multi model rack this is also a very important thing okay so at the end i will show you the framework and all and then we'll start with the project development so first of all guys let's try to discuss about the rack i think you already know if you have seen uh, my playlist if you have seen my previous video so what is a rack guys so rack is a process of optimizing the output or for augmenting the output from the large language model right we are not directly generating the output from the large language model instead of that what we are doing first we are going to retrieve the uh, like relevant document from the database and then we are passing to the llm model and then based on that llm model we are generating the output right so here this definition is saying same uh, you can read it and you can understand about this rack system if you want to understand in a detailed manner so definitely you can check out with my previous video got it now coming to the next point here so what is the architecture of the rack so here in the architecture actually you will find out three main section so here is what here is my data sources from there we are going to extract the data then i am going to create a chunk from the data then here we are creating a embedding and finally after the embedding we are going to store inside the knowledge base got it so this is called first part first section which is called ingestion ingestion of the data then in the second actually in the second phase user is asking some query it is going uh, from here a uh, means if user is asking some query it is going through this embedding model and then what we are doing we are going to find out the similarity search and based on that we are going to generate the output relevant output then from here uh, we are passing this relevant output to the llm and this llm actually uh, it is uh, like taking this prompt and this uh, relevant output okay that result and is combining both and finally it is generating an answer to the user so let's say if my model has not been trained on the particular data so what we can do here uh, so uh, like we can connect this model with the out so uh, with the outsource basically with this knowledge base and definitely we can generate the response without training on that particular data we can do that and that is a uh, like importance of the rank okay and that's why we use this rank we have two approaches one is fine tuning and the second is called rag so here we are talking about this rag okay so this thing i already discussed so here i am not going to waste my time now coming to the next point here so here three main component of the rag i already discussed ingestion retrieval and generation generation of synthesis anything you can say both are fine here now coming to the main point guys for that i think you clicked on this video so the main point is what is the multi model rag so here you can read the definition carefully so multi model rack is a ai system that can understand different models like images audio video text so in the classical rack system we were just working with the text data so here if you will look into the architecture guys so we are going to extract the data different different uh, data actually from the different different resources 
and 95 percent time you will get the text data over here means uh in short i can say i'm just dealing with the text data but here instead of the text if i have some other data right like if you have images if you have uh, audio or video or let's say we have this uh, table data okay tabular data now what we will do what we'll do so how we are going to tackle that situation and in the real time many more use cases you will find out along with that type of data right where you will be having images tags videos audio stable this that whatever now how to process those data yes we are capable to process text data over here and we are able to store as a embedding in my knowledge base knowledge base means what databases like no sql sql database vector database generally we use no sql or vector database but here guys this data could be anything how we are going to deal with that and for that only as an engineer as a developer i have to create a system and that is called multimodal rag system now let's try to read the definition again and you will get much more detail so here multimodal rag is an ai system that can understand different models like image audio video and text it enable ai system to process and integrate data from numerous models such as text images audio and video so as a classical system we are not just going to use the text we are going to dealing with a different different type of data that is images audio video and all got it i hope you are getting my point now coming to the next point multimodal embedding and generation so here let me explain you this particular point because i told you it's a core heart okay it's the heart of this particular tutorial now let's say uh, if we are getting a data from the source from any one source and this data is coming and this data actually i'm uh, doing an embedding of it and uh, then we are going to store inside the knowledge base knowledge base is nothing knowledge base actually it is uh knowledge base i can say it's a database itself so it could be like a vector database it could be like no sql database any sort of a database you can consider here got it now here let's say initially we are going to uh like just dealing with the text data so uh for the text data we have a different different uh embedding model i think you know about it so we have open ai embedding model we have uh, this uh, mistral embedding we have jimny embedding okay jimny embedding now if we are talking about the classical model so there you will find out the bot embedding okay many transformer based model or uh, you will find out the almo right almo is also uh, a model so uh, regarding the different different model you will find out their embedding model also now embedding is nothing actually just a numerical representation of the data numerical representation of the data got it so there's those embedding i'm going to store inside the knowledge base now guys let's say if instead of this text i am getting my data so here my data is going to be image my data is going to be audio right my data is going to be video so from the video itself we can uh like get this images audio text and all i will show you how to process this video data in my next video so here let's say if we have a different different type of data let's say we have tabular data tables which we are extracting from our uh like documents and all so for those actually will be required the model right embedding model which which model i will be required the embedding model now those model is called those models called multi-model embedded model okay multi-model embedding model now we have different different type of models so i know couple of names which i have used uh like in a different different projects and all so here i have used one model that is image mind so it's a uh, microsoft model or some meta model i forgot that i think it's a meta model this image mind so meta has created this model uh meta means facebook uh, and you can use this particular model for creating a embedding with respect to this images audio video and even the table right apart from this one you will find out the clip right so uh, clip actually it's an open ai model open ai model and this is also very famous uh, so here i think the full form of the clip constant uh, concentrative uh, like this language image pre trained right this is the full form of the clip it's an open ai model now we have one more model which i used in one of one of my poc that was a flamingo so flamingo also is a, is a model actually it's a model i think it's a from the google so uh, it's a research of the deep mind and deep my work deep my deep mind actually it works under the google itself okay it's a google department for the ai and all uh so this flamingo is also there clip is also there image bind is also there so directly actually see 
uh, if we have a text data so for that we can use this particular model but let's say if we have a data images so for the image we can use this clip we can use this image mind we can use this flamingo audio actually see for the audio we have a different different other model right so if you will check with our google itself let me show you audio embedding model so for the hugging face itself you'll find out that so let me search in front of you audio embedding models right so if i'm searching audio embedding model so actually now we have a different different approaches for converting the audio right into the embedding and those model also it's a transformer based model now just look into this particular architecture and here you will find out see what we are doing so this audio actually we are going to convert into the text itself and from that text we are going to create an embedding right that's the first approach and it's a very common approach and we are going to use that approach in our in our project as well so the project which i will show you going forward then the second approach here you will find out input embedding right so the web the web right so web file itself we are passing then here you will find out some other file right so this is a different file let me show you so here uh, they have given the name as well so here you will find out the text input this is the very common approach which we use with respect to the audio waveform input so this is the second one now with respect to that you will find out other model like hubert and all okay web web back web to back to right this one and this hubert right now apart from that you will find out the third one so spectrogram input so we are passing the spectrogram and with respect to that also we can use the different different model like this whisper and all got it so here if you will look into this model so image bind clip flamingo so this this is very very good with respect to this image audio if you want to like uh, convert into the embedding so for that we have the different model i showed you otherwise we have very simple approach we can convert it to the text and then we can generate the embedding then videos so video actually directly we are not going to process the video we are going to convert into the multiple parts like images audio text and all and then we are going to process table also right table we can process by using this model itself image boards clip flamingo and all we can create the embedding and all with respect to that okay so at the end i'm trying to say over here so those model okay model right model embedding model which is capable to process text and images both mainly two two things text and images both so those model is called multi-model multi-model i hope you are getting so the same multi-model actually uh we are having with respect to the llm also i think uh, you are aware about the llm so if you are talking about llm guys you will be able to find out different different model now let me give you uh some sort of a names over here so the first name actually we all know i think we all know about it lava right lava is a model uh actually which we can use for what tell me so here to the lava model we can pass the text so here let me uh, like pass the text over here and here we can pass the images also and in with respect to both it will be able to generate the output right it will be able to generate the output now we have other models so let me write a couple of more names so here the other model is what jimny pro vision right so here jimny pro vision model so this is also a model basically which is capable to take this images and this text both and it is able to process now apart from that you will find out gpt 4v right this is also a model which can take text and images both now we have other model like fulu right fulu fulu uh, is one of the model right so which you can search over the google itself and you will get that so jimny lava gpt4 v fulu so these are the model actually this is called multi model means which can take text as well as the images getting my point so here now if you are going to check with this particular architecture now just see over here so what we are doing now let's say we have a data now this data could be anything whatever data we are getting let's say we are getting one document so we are getting one document in this document actually it is containing text and images both right text and images both now yes we can uh like extract the data we can create the chunks or summaries whatever we want now after that we can create the embedding now which model i will use for the embedding tell me for the embedding actually we are going to use that multi-model embedding right multi-model embedding model like clay right image bind and all now here i will store inside the database now database wise also we have different different type of databases so here actually you will find out the uh lens db which is very much popular for the multi-modeling now baby is also there which can uh like uh, which can uh, uh like hold this multi-model embedding now apart from that like many in memory database you will find out so from the lang chain and the llama index excel i will show you that now guys this uh, database right so from this database what we are going to do we are going to extract the output so here this database itself is called multi model retrieval right so here the process which i will do right the process which i will perform 
so though, though that particular process itself is called multi model retrieval getting my point so here till now i have introduced three terms so the first term here multi model embedding multi model embedding now here actually you will find out multi model llm this side multi model llm now here you will find out the next one next term multi model retrieval okay so here with respect to this databases you will find out multi model retrieval i hope this each and everything is clear multi model means what which can handle the different different type of data mainly two things what tell me mainly image and the text apart from that audio video table those data also we can process but we have a trick a different different trick for that but at the end we are going to convert either into text or image okay or we have one structure one uh, structure data also like tables and all we can also process by using these particular model i will show you in the practical right so i hope this terminology is clear to all of you and this multi model embedding and generation is clear right now coming to the next point here different different approaches to solve this a particular problem so let me show you this uh like approaches here i kept in my one uh snapshot i kept uh so let me show you that uh let me show you from the lang chain itself so these are the different different options which you can follow i i will show you each and everything guys don't worry just believe on me and uh just follow to me right each and everything each and every research and all i will show you here so this is the options now just read over here what are options we have for solving this a particular problem now here the first option in the very first option you will find out what we are going to do just tell me right so here in the very first option we are using multi model embedding right as uh, such as click to embed images and text together let's say in one uh, database or in one like data sources we have images and text both we are going to use this click method then retrieve either using similar t search but here but simply linking to image in a doc store means what we are doing we are uh, doing the same thing we are uh, performing a similar t search but here we are augmenting it by connecting with a real data source i will show you in the practical itself then pass raw images and text chunk to the multi model for the generation that's it this is the first option now the second option you will find out use multi model llm gpt lava fuyu right so uh, to for what for producing the text summaries for the images means whatever data we have text image or tables and also here uh, from let's say text on uh, table we can handle right now let's say we have an image so here we are going to generate a summary then we are going to embed that summary and we are going to retrieve that text summary using a text embedding model right so embed and retrieve text summaries using a text embedding model means we are keeping inside the uh, like database and then we are going to retrieve based on the similarity such and all and then again okay for the reference what we are doing we are passing the raw raw data and this embedding to my llm model for the synthesis right for the better okay for the better output and this all the options actually i will show you in terms of practical guys so don't worry about it. don't worry now here we can see the third option in the third option you will find out it is similar to the first option itself use a multi model llm such as gpt 4b llama of for you for what tell me for generating a summary from the images then just embed and retrieve image summary with the reference right so here what we are going to do we are going to uh, keep it somewhere that summary and all in the form of embedding and then we are going to retrieve it means we are going to perform the similar t search and here again we are passing the raw images and text uh, to the model and then we are going to generate that so guys somehow you will find out the same thing same approach but somewhere somewhere here and there so until and unless we are not going to perform it practically definitely we won't be able to get that so guys just read out it and try to understand this each and every approach try to make a diagram and in the next video i will uh, i will uh, like solve it for you and definitely i will be uh, showing you with respect to the diagram also got it now the next thing is what so after the option you will find out the different different use cases now let me show you the use cases that what are type of use cases you have so the very first use case which you will find out video processing so yes guys video processing is a like use case which we can solve by using this multi model rack now the other one you will find out uh, that is what guys tell me that is a document processing so here let's say if we have a document and this document actually it is containing a different different type of data let's say it is containing text it is containing images and it is containing tables and all so we can process uh, that type of data by using this multi model rack right now here the third one so we can do the image captioning also 
so image description we can generate and this image captioning we can do in a uh, like more perfect manner okay so image captioning is also there which we can perform image reasoning also there so i'll be talking about what is this image captioning image reasoning so each and everything we're gonna discuss over here so reasoning uh reasoning now here guys these are the a uh, couple of use cases and this use cases actually it is applicable in every domain now here guys let me show you the use cases over here so just go and check with this langchain documentation and here actually you will find out the different different use cases with respect to this multi-model rank now here guys the first use case you can see let me zoom out, zoom in so the first use case semi-structured table plus text so in my data if we have table and text both then how we can create this multi-model right now the second one this is called semi-structure approach right just do the right click here and open it inside the new tab and you will get the solution the complete solution cookbook solution they have given but here uh, most of the things are deprecated and all definitely i will show you this i will create one video one specific video on top of this uh, particular topic and then uh, definitely you can create your own uh, uh, like project and all everything so here guys you can see they have given you the code but this code is a little tricky and definitely i have like to explain you and now you can see the architecture and all everything so this is called semi-structure rag and it also comes inside the multi-model rag itself then you can see multi-model rag with text table and images so here you will find out text table and image everything inside the single document now here you can see private private multi-model means we are not if, if we don't want to store the data somewhere over the cloud in that case what i will do tell me so here in that case we are going to store the data in memory right in the memory itself we are going to store that and we are going to perform the rag right so these are some application and guys in every data in every data actually you will find out text table images and all that's it now couple of uh other uh basically use cases we have let me show you that you will find out inside the uh llama index right so here you can see a uh, couple of more use case so gpt 4b multimodal multimodal retrieval as a clip image to image retrieval structure image retrieval and many more things actually they have given to you over here now let me open one and uh, let me show you the different different use cases which they have provided you now if you will go and check with this use cases so you will find out see uh they are creating a image captioning using the retrieval argument how so here they have given you the code as well simply you can check right now apart from this one you'll find out the different different one so how they are going to process the video see uh video processing also there by using this uh by using this multi-model rag now apart from this you will be able to find out so how you can run this multi-model rag inside the local o llama okay they have given you this also now they have given you the image reasoning how you can do the image reasoning image reasoning means what so from the image itself how you can get the different different component the different different details right so they have given you this as well now multi-model rag it is applicable wherever we have this tags images or the different different other type of data apart from the apart from the text right so one side in the normal rag we just have text but if we are talking about multi-model rag so we are including those model which is capable to perform the embedding and the generation with respect to the other data as well so here definitely you can check out this and i will be creating an end-to-end -end project by using these a particular resources only by by using this llama index and the length chain itself now apart from this one guys you'll find out the multi research paper as well so here you can see this visual in instruction tuning this is the very uh good research paper which i figured out now here guys inside this research paper uh, so this is uh, based on this gpt 4b itself so how it is processing the images and all right so this lava or this gpt or this jiminy provision everything you will find out inside this particular research paper so please guys please check out it and definitely in the upcoming session we are going to create the projects so fine i hope everything is clarified with respect to this multimodal rag and if you didn't get anything please revisit the video please try to check this different different options and on top of this itself on top of uh, this option itself we are going to create the project so thank you guys thank you for watching this video in the next video uh we'll create one project thank you bye bye take care have a great day until next video see you again